Hello and welcome to another Decal Ranch tutorial. My name is Jeff and today I want to attempt to, to show you how to separate the pins, the ball, and the shoes. At least this is how I would do it. I was surfing through the th thousands of groups I feel like I'm in some days. And someone asked how they could separate each one of these to have them different colors. Now, I am somewhat new to the studio world at this point, the vinyl world, but I'm not new to graphic design. I know how I would do this in Photoshop, but I took on this challenge how to approach it in studio without having used Photoshop. My thinking is the ball is its own object. The shoes are their own object. And what we can do is erase the pin, and as you can see over here, and bring in a new pin. So that's my thinking. While this pin isn't exact, we'll work on making it a little bit closer. So my thinking would be to first make a copy. All I did was hit Alt and dragged, and it creates a copy. Let's get rid of... Actually, let's keep it colored in. All right, so what we'll do, I'll just slice this here. So that way I don't have to erase everything. I could just then select that chunk, cut it out. And then we will just zoom on in. Now this, I don't have the actual file, so ball's not gonna be as smooth as humanly possible is the original, so we're just gonna wing it for this example. So what I would do is come in and erase these. Erase this on the shoe. Whoop. Control Z. And down here. It's not easy with the middle mouse, so we'll just do it close enough for right now. Alright, let's just we'll nip that just a little. Hopefully the original file the lines are a lot smoother. So right now what we'll do, we'll grab, is that separate? That's separate. So we'll grab these. Just make sure we got all of the shoe. Make that a compound path. So that is its own file. It's a, its own object. That is its own object. And then let's bring in the bowling pin. So we'll just change it colors. And then let's change so we have the original for size. Send that to the back. So that is roughly the size. But the lines on this are a little thicker. So what we can do here is offset about what? 0.05. Two, whoop, two five. That looks good. Apply. Uh, clear. And red. And there you go, a little bit thicker. Get you out of there. If you want to thin it up. You go that route. It's completely up to you. But I'm just going to leave it the way it was. We're going to put that there. And hit the right button. It's hit Alt. And we're going to put that there. All right. Send backwards. That didn't work. So maybe send that forward. Bring to the front. Bring to the front. I can get rid of 
do for right now. Okay. I had to pause it to do some thinking. So here's what we're going to do. Make that a compound path. Let's just change the color since we know that's going to be different. Okay. So you can see. Oh, one more. You can see that pin is solid. Solid. So what we'll do is select the shoes, select the pin. Do subtract all. Select the ball, select the pin, subtract all, ball, pin, subtract all. What we just did was removed all the extra bits from the pin. So now we can just come in here, select the pin. All right, so we got all this extra bit right through here. We, we could go in and erase it, but the shoes get in the way. And since there's, I'm sure I could move this, but then I have to move it back and deal with lining everything up. I don't want to do that. So let's do release compound make compound i'm sure there's an easier way and hopefully somebody will explain that and then we'll do release again and then i can come in and delete each bit and then come back and make compound path Shift, make compound path. Now let's see if we missed any. Nope. And since none of this extra pin is showing, it stays separate. So we don't have to worry about converting any of it or deleting any of it. But right there, you have your shoes separate, you have your ball separate, you have the pin separate, all three colors, all ready to go. So now you have all three layers ready to cut. You could keep them together and then just do the select, no cut, you know, so you line them up or you can just separate each one and then cut them individually and then layer them that way. Either or, that's how I would do it. Now I am sure there is a dozen different ways to do it. And then a dozen different ways from those dozen ways. But this is how I would go about it. Hopefully this helps you. And if you like it, please subscribe. And hopefully I'll do more tutorials like this. Thanks a lot. And have a great day.